Well, hello, my friends. How are you today? Hope your week's off to a good start. It's a gray, rainy day here, and I'm actually pretty happy for that, the, that today. The weather is a little bit warmer, which is nice, and a uh, nice gray, rainy day will kind of keep me inside, keep me focused. Got a lot to do this week. Um, I want to start this week off and talk about why I follow a raw food diet. Um, I do videos every day, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, uh, please take the time and hit that subscribe button below, and then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you will stay subscribed to the channel. Um, had a good productive trip in Pensacola this weekend. Uh, like I said, told you yesterday, made, met a new friend. Um, oh, and I solved the problem, which is gonna help me immensely in digging in and starting to get ready for this trip to Costa Rica. I had a little, you may have remember seeing it in the background of some videos. I had this computer monitor um, that was bigger than my laptop and um, I've been having issues with it. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't figure out how to get volume through my computer. Saw that yesterday. So now I'm ready to really double down, uh, get some things happening. And uh, yep, Costa Rica is only about two months away now. So uh, starting to get pretty excited about that. So why did I follow a raw food diet? I wanted to talk about that one today because like I said, I like to kind of keep people off, off balance a little bit with like, where's he going? What's he thinking? Just because I did that video yesterday, and I do videos from time to time, and I talk tongue-in-cheek, and I make fun of all the extreme uh, raw foodists out there, but never misunderstand me. I do value the raw food diet, and I will tell you straight up, straight up, when I'm eating fully raw, I feel better. When I'm eating a certain way of fully raw, I feel better. There's no doubt about that whatsoever. Um, it's just that, you know, I adjust and I'm not such a tight ass on everything that I do in my life, you know. Um, there's two measures. There's two reasons I follow this, uh, this diet, this way of living. And they're also my measuring sticks. And those are digestion and energy. Now, digestion, very much so. I'm, I'm, I'm really in tune with my digestion. And I can see changes. I can see it get a little bit better. I can see it get a little bit worse. Um, well, now to give a little bit of a frame of reference, no matter what I'm eating, plant-based, my digestion is usually still pretty good. But pretty good is not good enough for me. As I move up the ladder from pretty good to, okay, now I'm eating fully raw, but maybe I'm just getting the bananas here to getting, you know, high water content fruits to where I've just got a smorgasbord and I can eat whatever I want. There's a scale there. There's a scale there for my digestion. Um, and my digestion without a doubt. I, and, and listen, just to let you know, this has been an experimental period for me being in the States. I was telling my friend the other day, I'm like, okay, well, you're in the States. Um, there's time I've eaten more cooked food while I'm in the stage, but let, let's use that. Let's put, let's take that into the laboratory. Let's analyze that a little bit and, you know, use it as a learning situation. I won't tell you without a doubt, even though I don't throw cooked under the bus, um, although I'm welcoming to everybody and I just mainly want to see people eating a plant-based lifestyle, plant-based diet, um, I can most certainly see uh, my digestion go down when I eat cooked food. And the heavier those cooked, that cooked food is, and depending on what it is, even more so. Um, there's no doubt about that. So let's just get that out of the way right there. And some people say, well, I do this just fine, and I'm blah, 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 and I, I'm, I'm good where I am. I would almost have to dive a little deeper, know a little bit of their story, to know if they, you know, how far they've ever gone. Have you ever done raw? Have you ever done this? Have you ever eaten like this? Have you ever had access to this type of food? Because I've covered the spectrum and I, I try to be as honest and open as I can on this channel in giving feedback as best my old senile mind remembers things. You know, the mind is a funny thing. It does recreate things in different different ways sometimes we remember things we in other words the, the way we remember things can be a little bit different but i'm pretty good um with um you know keeping track of all this so what i'm getting at here is yes i'm not you know i'm not dying when i eat some cooked food even if it's some gourmet food like this weekend i went down to pensacola and i ate out at um you know my restaurant a couple of times i had a 
a barbecue jackfruit sandwich, um, had some other things while I was there. Is it optimal for me? No, not without a doubt. I can say no. When I go away for these little weekends or when I'm, you know, especially when I'm gone for a couple of days, um, I see, except, and I couldn't get any mangoes this time. Now, you've seen me before and you've heard me talk about it, or maybe that's on Instagram. A lot of times when I go down on my trips and I spend the night, I was able to get these little honey atafo mangoes. So I was just getting some lettuce and cutting up on top of that. Didn't get that this time, so I ate a little bit more cooked. Um, and yeah, most definitely I can feel my digestion slow down. Now somebody might say, well, my digestion is fine. That's what I was getting out a minute ago. My, well, my digestion is just fine eating this, 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 and the other. And they eat some of these heavier foods all the time. And I'd have to say, well, what do you have that to compare with? Because if you've never, it's kind of like I've said before, I came to this lifestyle. Feeling good to me Feeling good was a whole different ball game six or seven years ago than it is now. What I thought felt good six years ago, seven years ago, would be kind of a crappy day for me now. So it's all relative, but yes, the heavier I eat, the slower my digestion gets. Now, just in general, just to give you a little bit of um, a background too, or just kind of let you know where I'm coming from, my digestion slowed down anyway. Even, on, even when I'm eating fully raw here, just because I'm not getting those high water content fruits that I, that I thrive on. You know, it slows me down. I don't eliminate as much during the day, but it is what it is. Um, now, the second one that also, that's kind of one of my measuring sticks and another one of the huge reasons I follow this lifestyle, eat the way I do, is energy. And I'm very in tune with that, and I'm very aware of that. And every time I eat a bite of cooked food, or every time I eat meals, or any time I have a couple of days where I'm eating some cooked food, I try to be very analytic, and I try to observe as closely as I can, you know, how I'm feeling on that. My energy level is that too, and it is. Now, the energy level, I feel it uh, big time too certain things certain things just pull me down it's I, I joked with my friend the other day um i didn't have that particular meal but i said yeah there's a few things that's like booting heroin it just like you know i can be up here ready to go out and do whatever i eat it and i'm like whew, geez i need a hammock i need to go take a nap so um it's definitely the digestion and the energy. Now there's other benefits to this diet. There's so many benefits. I could uh, do a series of videos that would take 14 hours of uh, you know, video to cover, but those are the two main things and those are my measuring sticks right there. And I have no doubt, and I, like I say, I don't try to talk for other people. I'm just telling you for me because I've played with different uh, areas along the scale of, of plant-based, you know, from heavier cooked to fully raw to mono meal raw with lots of water content fruits. And I can tell you without a doubt that I do feel the absolute best on the fully raw. That that's So don't ever misunderstand when I do these videos like yesterday. None of those are like dissing the raw food lifestyle. That, Sometimes I'm just tongue-in-cheek, sarcastic, smart-ass, whatever you want to talk about, about the ones that are just so fanatic, you know, like it's all or nothing, it's fully raw, it's just too, too, too cult-like. Um, and, and another thing for me, and that's how I kind of like don't give myself too hard of a time or I don't like get so fanatic about it, is I also know when I've eaten some of these foods that are not optimal for me, like I know the period, like I know what it's gonna do and I know how long it's gonna take me to shake it off. And pretty much I don't ever do anything that I can't shake off in like, boom, a day or two days. You know, for instance, today I got back from, I'm, I'm back from Pensacola. Um, I had my first green smoothie this morning. Um, as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm gonna have about 32 ounces of water and I'm gonna drink a lot of water today and I'm gonna have basically bananas. This is probably just gonna be a banana day, but it would have probably been a banana day um, regardless. It doesn't really have to do with what I'm eating, but that's gonna help. So by tomorrow morning, I'm gonna feel like I've never, I never you know, varied or got off what I was doing last week. And for me, that's just, Look, I'm looking for optimum health. I'm looking for optimum health. I'm not playing a fucking game so I can get my merit badge or my pin or my chip for, be, for being able to say I'm fully raw. Um, 
I can, you know, I can go fully raw anytime. I could do it here. It's just kind of like, you know, it's just not as fun. It's not as joyful. I just don't get the fruit here. Uh, sometimes, like I say, I travel and, uh, uh, quite frankly, like I say, I'm not, I don't need to make an excuse. I'm just like, eh, eh, I can shake it off. So I do. Um, and I feel good when I bounce back. Now, once I, like I said, when I get back to Costa Rica, you'll see something. Within a week, I'll shake off all of the states. I'll shake off the whole eight months that I've been in the states with less than optimal fruit, less than optimal high water content fruit, and what have you. It'll just be like a big, whoof. <laughs> And within three or four days, a week down there of eating like I normally do, you know, I'll be back to normal. And that's what it's about for me. It's about always seeking toward, it's always moving towards a healthier place. It's always, and it's also about gaining information. It's also about seeing, I, I like to play. I mean, you know, you're, you, you guys know me. I'm a single guy, no kids, no responsibilities, lots of time on my hands. I work on my own. I make my own hours. So I have time to play and I have hours to amuse myself and fill my time. So I like to do that. And I think there's benefit to it because I can share more when I go a little bit more back and forth. Now, would I like to get, listen, you put me in the optimal place and that eventually Eventually, I'm going to settle into a particular part of Costa Rica, which will afford me the luxury of eating fully raw all the time. And not just fully raw all the time, it'll allow me the luxury of eating fully raw organic, but not just organic either, eating the best of the best because the soil in the area where I'm eventually going to settle is not depleted like a lot of places around the world. This is some of the best food on the planet. I could taste the difference when I was there before. So like I say, for me, this is all about the long game, a marathon. It's about moving, experimenting, figuring out, finding out, but eventually I'm gonna to get to that place and in that exact environment where I can do optimal all the time. And when I get to that place, oh yeah, oh yeah, then there won't be a doubt. It won't necessarily be I'm a fanatic and I won't change my message and I won't be a hardcore fire and brimstone preacher about fully raw is law, you must be fully raw, but I'll be fully raw just by default. You know, because I will be in my environment where it's just natural, where I'm picking stuff off the trees, where I'm eating from, you know, the ground that is just pristine. Uh, but until then, um, you know, I'm going to do the best I can and do what I can do. Let me tell you something. Like I say, just do it. And if you're going to be fully raw, do fully raw in the right way. Because there's a lot of fully raw people out there that I just don't see looking or coming across as all that healthy. So anyhow, rambling, going off here, going off there, round and round. But the, in the end, those are that's why I follow a raw food diet. It's for the digestion and it's for my energy level. And I stick by that. I stick by that. Might not be somebody else's experience. I don't know anybody else's body other than mine, but I do think we're all rather similar. And I think if people actually don't get tripped up in your mind, don't, you know, if you actually got to a place where you did that fully raw thing and you did it with the right type of environment, the right type of fruit, you'd be like, oh, hell yeah. I don't really need any cooked food, but we do the best we can where we are, don't we? Anyhow, hope you guys enjoyed this video to start the week. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow. Love you guys. Peace.